In this video, we're gonna be installing Python. By the end of the video, you are going to have Python 3 installed on your computer. And this video is part of a bigger series where we actually create a video game using Python and Pygame. And this is the first video in the series. So before we begin, I want to give a huge shout out to Privacy. Thank you for sponsoring this video. So Privacy lets you buy things online using virtual cards instead of real ones so you can protect your identity and bank information on the internet. And as a special little sun sun for my viewers, new customers will automatically get $5 to use on their first purchase. So that's free money they can use to purchase whatever you want online. So go to privacy.com slash Mayabello to sign up now. So fun fact, a lot of Macs have Python 2 already installed. So this video is focused on installing the newer version. And at this point in time, that's Python 3.8. To see if you have Python installed and what version, you can open up Terminal. Navigate to Terminal by clicking the search icon in the right hand corner of your screen and that will open up Spotlight. Type Terminal into the text field and the Terminal application will open up. Let me make this a little bigger. You can type Python dash dash version to see if you have Python 2 installed as well as the version. You can type Python 3 dash dash version to see if you have Python 3 installed as well as the version of Python 3. So I actually took my sister's computer to demonstrate this and she is not a developer and as you can see she has Python 2 installed but not Python 3. So if you see that same message on your computer, Python 3 command not found, that means you do not have Python 3 installed so this tutorial is going to be perfect for you. Warning, do not delete Python 2 from your computer. Removing Python 2 can mess up the way some tools on your computer work, so I would not recommend that. So we are going to keep Python 2 and also install Python 3. So now we are ready to download and install Python 3. So go to whatever search engine you like and type Python 3, or actually you can feel free to navigate directly to www.python.org. So now let's click on download. And by the way, this is the official Python website. So this is pretty cool. So on this specific page, they actually detected that we are on a Mac. It says download the latest version for Mac OS X. So what we can do is actually just click that button, download Python 3.8.5 and the magic is happening as you can see at the bottom that pkg file was created so we have just downloaded python and now let's install it so welcome to the python installer so you know they have the typical terms and agreement you know the license typical when you're installing software so just like agree to it <laughs> and then you actually uh, just keep going through this process I usually just follow the steps that are on the screen and as you all will soon see a Python 3.8 folder is created in my applications folder and this installation process is pretty quick so then it says congratulations and yeah you can just move that to trash if you want and you have Python 3 installed. So now we're going to check if Python 3 was successfully installed. So you can open up Spotlight, type Python 3.8, and if you actually navigate down, you can click on that folder. So mine is within applications, but you see Python 3.8 is there and there's actually a lot of great stuff inside like they have that IDLE which is Python's integrated development and learning environment which is super cool because it's actually this like interactive shell where you can like write code and I'm going to print we did it so that is a line of code where it will display the words we did it nice and yeah, so it looks like all of this is working as expected. Also, now since you have Python 3 installed, you can actually open up your terminal. And if you don't know where a terminal is, just make sure to go to Spotlight and type terminal. And as you can see, we have Python 3.8.5. So everything is working fine. And you can actually type Python code here as well. It's called the interpreter and it understands the Python code we write. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and also subscribe 
subscribe if you're new here. We are going to be building a video game using Python and Pygame. Stay tuned till the end of the video because I'll show you the command to find out the location of Python 3. So thank you again to privacy.com for sponsoring this video. So the other day I was buying some skincare for me and my grandma and I actually used privacy to create that virtual card. So I did not need to enter my debit card information. So using the privacy Chrome extension, I created a virtual card on the spot and was able to use that to complete my purchase. So if you're interested, it's free and you can use my URL, privacy.com slash Mayabello, my name, and you get $5 to spend on any purchase. So the last thing I wanted to show you is a command that I think is really cool and it is the which command. So which will tell us where executables are located. So Python 3 is an executable. So we can type which Python 3 to see the location of this executable. It can also do this for the Python command as well, which Python. Now if you change directories or move to that bin folder, as you see it said like bin slash Python 3. And then if you do the ls command, you can actually list out everything that's within bin. So like when you type Python 3, something happens. Or when you type pip, which we'll talk about more in a future video, that's like a Python package manager. But yeah, I just wanted to show you where you can actually find the location of Python 3. But thank you so much for watching. This is going to be a great series and I'll see you in the next one.